Welcome to the For Me development update for week 8. The biggest update for this week is the release of the For Me mobile app. It is now available both for iOS as well as for Android. So let's switch to an Android phone in my case and see what it looks like. So I am now recording this from my mobile phone. So let's start the For Me app. You see that it immediately logs me in because I have entered my credentials before. It will just remember them. And what you uh, see is that it looks exactly the same as when you would use for me from your mobile browser. So the layout is uh, uh, yeah, the layout that you created in your self-service design. And basically the functionality uh, of the app is exactly the same as when you would use for me in your mobile browser. The only things that are added are push notifications. So when you receive something new there will be a push notification on your mobile. Uh, and the fact that it will uh, remember your credentials. Well, all the other functionality is, uh, is not new. It's exactly the same as, uh, as in the mobile browser, which makes sense because that works fine. So why recreate something that was already there? So back to the PC and hopefully better audio quality. Um, the next small update was made in the reports section of for me. Uh, these small icons now indicate the type of chart uh, that you can expect when opening this specific report. So this is a bar chart report and this is a column chart report. So these icons are helpful to expect uh, yeah, the kind of uh, uh, visualization that you will see when opening the report. The next small update was made on the people form. Uh, the checkbox for indicating that someone is a VIP was removed and it's now a crown icon. So you mark someone as a VIP by clicking on the crown icon and then it, it's highlighted in gold. Um, so it, that might not be that intuitive. Uh, so you have to click again to uh, deselect someone as a VIP. So the checkbox replaced by this icon. And the last update for this week is of a more technical nature. Uh, when you use your own integration platform to process webhooks, you are probably familiar with, uh, or maybe not, hopefully not actually, uh, with the fact that when a webhook is failing because your integration platform is not responding, you will get notified by an email. Uh, the update is that that email now contains the actual URL um, that was called, so you can see which uh, server is not accessible at the moment. So it contains a bit more information than previously. Uh, and what also was updated this week is that when your connectivity has been restored, so the platform is actually uh, again ready to process webhooks, you get a notification as well. Previously you only received a notification when something stopped working. Uh, but it was sometimes challenging to figure out if the functionality was restored, yes or no. So you now get an email uh, when those messages are delivered successfully as well. And that concludes the overview for this week. As always, thanks for watching, have a nice week and see you next time.